Hey, how you doing guys? Uh, sorry for this weird setup. Um, unfortunately, I have to use a USB microphone uh, just because my the way my 2013 Mac Pro is set up. And we have some fly issues as well. Some people have been leaving the door wide open, so sorry about that. I definitely got to make some videos, uh, try to catch up. Now this has to do with um, Streamlabs announcing they released their OBS for Mac, which I am very interested in, uh, very excited. And uh, this is not exactly a tutorial or anything. It's, it is my initial impressions and demo of uh, Streamlabs OBS for the Mac. Now, people are kind of wondering why is it coming out for Mac now? And I believe this is because Logitech, uh, it was bought by Logitech last September. I can't remember how many millions of dollars. So it makes sense. They have more resources and uh, money to support uh, the platform on the Mac. Now, um, obviously Streamlabs is based on the, uh, around the open source OBS Studios. It really adds a lot of functionality and features um, for streamers. Now, this is uh, more geared toward the gaming platform. Um, so a lot of the features are kind of geared around that. It, you could possibly use it for other things like different shows other than gaming. But like I said, gaming's uh, primarily around that. And um, obviously before it was only on the Windows platform. Now we're gonna take a look at some of the interface. Um, as you can see right here, um, it has many uh, widgets and features. For instance, the MIDI feed. Now this is for myself, this is geared toward um, YouTube and YouTube Live and um, a lot of the new features, for instance, um, for instance, this was, I already had OBS Studio, and when I um, installed Streamlabs OBS on the Mac, um, it gave me the option to um, take the settings from uh, OBS Studio and uh, incorporate it into uh, Streamlabs, which actually worked fairly well with a few issues though, uh, which I'm gonna talk about here shortly. Um, we're going to look at some of the new features. Um, it does kind of have the uh, base look of um, OBS Studio. Now, what I uh, some of the features that I do like, for instance, they have it set up where you can move around the windows a little bit more interactively. And if you look at here at the upper left hand side, you see you can arrange it in different ways. Uh, automatically or you can slide and drag the window to what areas you want to once you select it. Now I already have my default set so I'm not going to utilize that so I'm just going to simply um, get out of that and let's go back here. Now initially I know this was closed beta and I think it may went to open beta. I'm not a hundred percent sure if this is the final release I know I had some crashing issues, well at least one time, uh, switching from the studio mode and then back again, um, it actually crashed the application. So still need some work on the Mac platform, which I don't necessarily blame Logitech on. Um, other new features as well, uh, if you want themes and widgets, they also have a store. And uh, it's gonna take a while here and now, Usually to really get some uh, full function, you, you have to use um, Prime, and which costs some money. Now they do have some free themes. You simply can go in here and type in free. And like I said, this is built uh, around gamers. So as you can see, it has a lot of th uh, free themes. I think they mentioned 250. Here this goes up to page 13 right here. So you can download these for free as well, as well as getting it paid if you want some other uh, themes to incorporate. And just to give you an example, we're gonna go back here. Now your themes, if you look here right above your sources, and this is where your themes are held. And in this case, I downloaded Flurry Light, which I'm gonna kinda show you now. And uh, it'll just take a second to uh, go in here and like I said, it is kind of geared toward gaming and you can see the different screens here for your source. Uh, for instance, you're going to be, you're streaming, you're going to be starting soon. You can display that. Uh, live stream, be right back, ending, 
offline and extras depending on which theme you choose. Now you can also go in here and edit really quite easily here in the, uh, your sources. So you can go for instance your alert box and then you can resize it and type in uh, whatever you need and let me see webcam let me get the uh, let me see I'm trying to get something where you actually have to type in um, let me see widgets no maybe it's in the header so I can go in the header and type in whatever I need I think I can actually go in here and I'm trying to remember uh, oh Right there, there we go. So you can go in here and actually got you know use your fonts, um, spacing, all that right in there. Very easy to use, which I'm glad to see. Unfortunately, this goes to one of the bad parts that I've discovered with Streamlabs OBS. Um, when I'm switching back to OBS Studio, or excuse me, um, to my regular default untitled right here is unfortunately it doesn't save my capture source in this case I'm capturing a Canon C100 and it doesn't save it so that is fortunately a problem which uh, I'm addressing right now so to really add that in there I'm gonna have to go back here and re-enter my Blackmagic uh, capture card and uh, just take a second right here to get it back Okay, right here, and as you can see, we're back again. So this is one of the big issues. In fact, when I transferred my settings over from OBS Studio, my capture card wasn't put in there, so I had to do it manually. So every time I close it and open it, it doesn't save my capture card. Uh, same thing going from a theme and back again, or switching themes. Another issue, capture card is not saved. So obviously that's a really big issue. And now, I think this also goes along with the Windows version. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I'm new to Streamlabs. I know on the Mac version, watch this. The interlacing, can anybody say de interlacing with me? And as you can see, the vertical lines, if you have any kind of motion, you're going to see those vertical lines, which indicates you have an uh, interlaced camera. Um, now, if you use the regular OBS Studio, it already has. Uh, probably six options for deinterlacing. Unfortunately, Streamlabs does not. Now, if your channel is around gaming, then um, it's probably not a big issue because you want to focus on the gaming screen rather than the smaller webcam camera. Of course, if you're not focused on gaming and primarily toward yourself and guests, then the deinterlacing issue is probably going to be a problem for you. So you might want to wait or use. OBS Studio before they fix the, the interlacing problem. Now, I also tested their Facebook page and they are quite active. When I put my problems in there, they did answer me back. And of course, uh, they actually listed a link where I can report it uh, as a uh, report, reporting ticket so they can go in there and fix the issues, uh, especially the capture card not being saved. The interlacing problems, um, hopefully they're gonna, uh, I think supposedly it's been in the Windows version for a long time. That's what I've been seeing. Another issue, um, if you look on the mixer right here, um, now on the OBS Studio, they, they can you can change it to vertical mixer, which I like myself, because it does save on uh, space. As you can see, these, uh, audio meters or horizontal which I don't really like um, unfortunately Streamlabs there's no way to change that until they add that feature in now OBS Studios does have that version on the Mac um, so those are my initial impressions and problems and I I still like the Streamlabs depending so like I said if you're a gamer and Again, for some reason going to be streaming on a Mac uh, then it shouldn't be an issue with uh, a de uh, interlaced camera now um, if something else where your cameras uh, captured cameras are going to be your primary focus then inter uh, the interlacing is going to be an issue for you so you might want to do it some uh, somehow else for instance um, OBS studio um, 
Of course, really with the gaming community, they're going to be sticking with Windows anyway. Um, but still, the, uh, as far as I know, they also have a deinterlacing issue as well. But anyway, for the gaming platform, it's probably primarily going to be owned as anyway. So um, I think it still needs some work, um, which is why I'm probably going to stick with OBS Studios. I'm going to keep on, uh, an eye on Streamlabs. OBS and see if they fix the issues then I may re uh, issue a new video until then thank you guys for watching and see you guys later